Hey, 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 guys! Welcome to another American McGee's Grim. This episode, the fisherman and his wife. I remember this story, but do you? Let's find out. Well, now that is a very friendly fish. Moralists claim that this squalid story is a tragedy. But as the greedy and terminally stupid couple survives the precipitous reversal of their fortunes, which indeed resulted from their own wretched behavior, it's barely a cautionary tale. Bring home something tasty for once! The seaweed's gone off, the lard is rancid, and that old boot won't last a week! A bit of cod or mackerel even, or bacon, or bread, or... Veg, oh, veg. Right you are, my dear. A fish, by all means. Big, big fish. The fisherman hasn't recently caught anything but a cold. Still, he's happy. But this evidently being his lucky day, the hapless fisherman hooks a flounder who, wouldn't you know, is enchanted. Return me to the water. And your wish is my command. My wife wants a nice piece of fish to eat. But I'm sure she'd prefer a bigger, more pleasant domicile. Throw me back, and she shall have a castle. The flounder was true to his word. A castle with 100 rooms and as many servants, and indoor plumbing to boot, stands where his hovel had been. His wife, swollen with pride, hardly blinks when told the castle is a gift from a fish. Husband, ask your fish for a bigger edifice for my friends and a title to match the property. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get, my precious. I'll whisper a word in his shell like. I think he has ears. He's just a messenger, see? No wants of his own, the pathetic sap thinks he can satisfy this lunatic battle axe's hankering for more stuff. Wrong! I'm sorry to ask, but my wife wants you to upgrade the castle to a church, and she wants to be Pope, order people around, wear a big hat, have one of the sticks with the curly thing, and, and the funny robes, and... The colored windows and all of that, you know. You saved my life. I'll grant your request. Pope? What was to become of the current one? And what did he think would happen to him when she's Pope? And I bless you all and forgive you, everyone, except those who owe me money. Pay up and nobody gets hurt! Be generous and compassionate, my love. You are Pope, after all. I can't afford to be compassionate. Besides, that's not my job. I could be compassionate if I were like God. Tell your fish to make me like God, and then I'll show you compassion, and mercy, and punishment when necessary. Ah, well. She perhaps has not heard the popular saying that there is no God but God. My wife, the Pope, would be like God. Make it happen. And so I shall. Return home and see his will be done. She shall be unto God. A distinct change in tone, no? But lost on the fisherman, I'm certain. Who knew I could want too much? Life is so unfair! I just wanted to be God! Could she be any dumber? Never heard of overreaching, selfish, vulgar, and profane. They wasted their chance to improve their lot. She demanded to be more than human. He did not dissuade her. But are they truly punished for their wicked pride? No! They don't have what they never had. Big deal! If you think that's pretty thin too, play on. I'm going to have to go with Grim here. They Beyond really unrequited love, this destitute fisherman has little to offer his disgruntled wife. Shelter and meager sustenance from the sea are not enough for her. I'd have left the witch. Sickening, really. Let's make them appreciate what they don't have. 
Mate. As someone who grew up without a lot of money, Let's move. you can get greedy, but I'm sorry, I think she's got it coming. I think we should really teach her a lesson. Are those? Oh, now that is cute. Look at the little crabs. Look now at the little I'm crabs. smelly. Aren't they adorable? Let's make them putrid. But yeah, so this is a story I've heard. And I don't remember her asking it to be God. I don't remember the version I heard when I was younger. But I don't remember her asking to be God. I thought in the version I had heard that uh, she ends up vanishing or being destroyed or something. So the fisherman gets to be happy and alone. But I don't fully remember, like I said. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and put in the comments the version of the story that you heard growing up. Was it any different than this version? Was it the exact same? Hmm. Now Now we can do the trees. Still can't get her though. I wish I could remember the version that I have. I mean, it wasn't as nice. Like she didn't survive. I remember the version I had. I had heard something happened to her, and I can't remember fully what. But this is another one of those. It's an interesting one where you want to see someone get it. Oh hey, look! It's Pokemon. I will not make any Twitch Plays Pokemon jokes, I promise. It's a little too obvious, honestly. Now I'm foul. Oh, come on, water. I made that. Fine, be mean to me. There we go, those are much nicer fish. Oh, and there's our coin. Can we get it? Let's find out. Hey there, little buddy. There you go, my friend. My dear little... A secret no, you're not a crustacean. You're a sea urchin. That's right, you're a sea urchin. I took marine biology. Chomp and stump! Uh, aren't you too happy? It's really that. Ah. Her true self exposed. She's kicked him out and is left with nothing but her amorphous desire for something, anything, more. You bitch. So we didn't quite get everything dark, which is a shame, but what can you do? The formerly luckless angler hooks a magic flounder and wishes on behalf of his wife, the grasping shrew, for a bigger house. Help. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. But what can you do? So basically, all the seamen. That joke had to be made now because it was going to be made later. Whoops. There you go. Now, what kind of sea is this where you pick up skulls? Is it perhaps the Dead Sea? And now, that's what I was talking about, I about there being a power-up. That'll actually really help you out. It helps you move so much faster. And I was flying there. Grim stinky now. Can I get up there? I believe I can. There we go. Hmm. Well, there's a bit of a trick to this, isn't there? Let's try it from here. Not so secret now. There we go. Sorry, buddy. I know this is your home and all, but you know we we need to make this place look a lot better. Can 
guys be worrying about your boats and less about what's going on over here? Just need a little more to get. Grim's Bruce. Now we can make this place perfect. Aw, did you think you could escape me? Okay, so maybe you can. But that would be. Much nicer, don't you think? Oh, I'm so dark. So are they all pirates now? Hmm. These are the questions that'll keep you up at night. Not really. If these questions keep you up at night, then please turn off the Let's Play. Hey there, Mr. Fish. You look much better like that, in my opinion. Oh, hey, there's still ones that are able to clean. Not anymore, but there was. This looks like a an ocean area after red tide comes in. Grim's rotten. There we go. Oh! There's a coin over there, I didn't even notice. You better go get it. Arr, matey! Made a go boom! <laughs> Aw, and we missed one coin. Oh well. Do. A vainglorious castle has replaced his dumpy domicile. The only thing more insipid than realized wishes are white weddings. Let's ruin this joint before I sicken up! Make it stinky. Oh, and more of those little crabs. I'll see your helix shell, and I shall twist it into something wonderful. Whoa! Grim's What's the smelly? It just sent me flying. That was odd. I don't think I've ever had that happen in this game. That means there's something up there you're supposed to be able to collect. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Very peculiar. Stomping, oh stomping, butt kicking good. Still can't do that. Can we get these guys? Yep. No more making things clean for you, little fellas. Don't delay, butt stomp away. No. That's right. Now I'm gross. There we go. Oh, sorry, Mr. Calamari. Or are you just a squid? I don't actually know. That would be something interesting to find out. So we can't quite get the walls yet. Now those are lovely. You guys don't want a blood fountain of your own? Hey, I'm working hard to twist this place. Let's go rottenize everything. Now this is the type of castle I can see her living in with her attitude. Yes, it fits perfect, don't you think?
and now we're strictly nasty. I don't know, do you guys want us to get a little nasty? I am gonna regret saying that because I know you guys are gonna put so many comments in. Yes, yeah, so this definitely seems like the kind of place she would do. We're way past our goal now. I don't think I've seen where the queen is, sadly. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. There we go. But stomp it! Oops. Did we miss one? There we go. Now why did you go and jump on that? Silly man. Oh well. A few the children castle are gone. did not slake her thirst for things. Who couldn't see that coming? Now she wants to be Pope. Though obviously several cards short of a full deck. Is she crazy enough to want that sort of power? Let's deprive her of what's left of her wits. <laughs> Make it nasty. Well, we're already at our goals. We might as well have some fun. Stomp it! Now who's disgusting? We could already do it, but I do want to get the 100%. Stomp it good! Plus, everyone should be. Don't be good! There we go. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. She's flipping crazy now! Woohoo! Look at her go! My turn! My turn! Hey, hey, ah! So let's head on to the next story part. The fisherman, abject but willing slave to his wife's ambition demands the papacy for her delectation. Would that he have asked for her premature demise. Make it foul. Let's see. I can't remember if there's anything over here. I think there is. No, this is the way we're supposed to go, that's right. Now this part can be a bit tricky. You don't know what to do. This scene is a cockroach age because I of that one. My sorrows, but this is ridiculous. Can I make it? Oh, I did make it. Awesome. So with this, you have to be careful because you can fall into the water, as you saw. It's extremely easy to fall into the water. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. This, actually, this story so far has been my most annoying because of a level or a part you'll see very soon. Grims, Now, I'm probably not going to go for the 100% on this one. Only because I really don't like part of this. Delayed, but still can't do anything to the rocks. Come on. You? That is a very big fish. Make it nasty. All right, I think we can do that. There we go. Now we can start making things seem more careful. 
Look at all those barnacles. Now I think we're actually able to do that. Which turned them all at once. So I wonder what the fishy 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 thing is. Rumpin' stump! Rumpin' stumpin' butt kicking good! Oh, foul weather! Boil and bubble, toil and trouble! Convert this all to trash and rubble! <laughs> Oh, well, we almost got it. The fisherman's home has morphed into a church. Oh. If you believe in organized religion, or a supreme being who cares about us, you might be moved. But as I don't, it's break down the door. <laughs> Much of this area. Grim's smelly now. Let's see. I don't think that'll work, Grim. Sorry, man. That's still not enough to get you? Alright. Hmm. There's our secret. So secret now. I actually didn't know that one was there. Not too much in plain sight. Not at all. Now this is starting to look like a dream. the castle, now the church, and the bitch still isn't satisfied. Now she wants to be God! If only she knew what a boring job he has, she'd think twice. We're in church! Where's the guilt, the sin, the wrath? Let's make it biblical! Make it disgusting. <laughs> wow, that's not a little messed up. So I guess we can see his views on church. As for my views, I'm not saying a word on this. This is something I don't get into. be a bit of a toughie, but let's try to get it. Grim secret found. Perfect. Wicked water. Uh, wicked water. I don't know. That looks like a church right Grim's rotten. What do you guys Ow. think? Would it be this church of the sinners? Ow. Oh yeah, now that is what a church needs to look like. There we go. So yeah, what do you guys think? Would you go to this church? I think most of you would. Not going on. Now, I'm repulsive. So how are you guys enjoying Grim's little story times? Is this an interesting way to finish the day? With a little bit of story time? Even if it's not me reading? 
Don't worry, guys. I'll be reading your story soon enough. Let's see. Oh, there's still one of you little... There we go. Chomp and stomp! <laughs> But stop it. Yep, they went there. Oh, no, those are some mean looking angels. Oh, smite me! Oh, smite me! Woo! Oh, heavenly! Oh, 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 oh. oh dear, Grim, should we leave you alone with the angels for a moment? Oh, a climactic finale. I hope everyone dies in the end. The fisherman makes his final wish that his wife become unto God. I know where this is going, but I'll save the surprise. So Make said, it nasty. So he said, Do it to. now! Grim's rotten. Now, now this is a level I'm not a huge fan of. And you'll kind of see why, because you see he's noticing he's kind of going at an angle. And that makes this part a little bit shorter. So I think God might be a little pissed. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. Oh, nope. Didn't quite make it. Now I gotta do the whole climb all over again. So you guys can kinda see why I'm not a huge fan of this. on that. As you can see, it's not a... Ah, cruel, cool water. Cruel, cruel water. I scab at thee. Stab at thee. I didn't totally get that wrong. Shut up. So we're trying desperately here. So yeah, this is the toughest one, and uh, it's not one of those where if you fail a bunch of times, they'll just give it to you. No, you gotta keep working. This is McGee, after all. There we go. And I am not going after the coin. Nor do I have enough to get him. Perfect. At least in this part, you're here, you're fine. Actually, I've never been this far. What's over here? Oh, one of the coins. Okay. Are you bloody kidding me? Oh, thank you, Lord. I was going to get pissed there in a second. But stomp it! There we go. Yes! Yes! Take that, you cursed she-devil! Now you're living on a god and you're liking it! <laughs> god lives like a peasant! God lives like a... <laughs> <laughs> and that's the holy end of that. So I guess God doesn't like uh, Grim mocking him. The fisherman was a dim-witted and pliant tool of his insatiable wife, and his weak character invited disaster. Their downfall loomed one greedy want away. And we didn't have to wait long for the anvil to drop. Mopes got what they deserved, I say. The wife's taste ran to more anything. Food, money, stuff, whatever. 
The limp husband would do anything to appease her voracious appetite and unquenchable thirst. The moment he caught the magic flounder, it was enlisted in perpetual service to his wife's ruinous greed. Spare me, and I promise to make you happy. You'll have to do better than that. It's the missus you have to please. Anything less than riches will just piss her off. I might as well eat you now. Done. She's wealthy. And, um, could you stick a plaster on my jaw? Even poor as dirt, she treated her husband and her neighbors like dumb beasts. If you worship me as the goddess I am, you can live in these fine new houses. If you don't, you can die. Slowly. They thank you, your holiest, most revered, beneficent, and majestic one. <laughs> they are grateful. As am I. Besides chill blades, pimples, heretics, and stomach gas, talk is the thing most not worth having more of. She wants a cathedral this time, with accoutrements, she says. And she insists that she be Pope. You're killing me with her constant demands. Better you than me. Would you mind removing the hook from my eye? Smart. You've heard of the arbitrary and capricious nature of unintended consequences? Bet the new Pope hadn't. Or hubris? How about arrogance? Self-indulgence? Oh, never mind. This is good. <laughs> I'm not cruel by nature. But this dunce has had more than his share of chances to redeem his stupidity. Perhaps if you made her like God, she could at last be happy. That's your idea of a solution to this problem? Well, I'm not surprised. But no doubt you will be. Shove what's left of my entrails back down my mouth and go home to your wife. You shall both have what you deserve. Ignorant to the very end, she believes the fates have conspired against her. She is a blameless, pathetic wretch. Fortune's fool, the plaything of wicked, unnatural forces. Never crossed her mind that her greed could be fed, but she could never be full. Those who expect a fair shake when they roll dice with enchanted fish are incurable optimists, unwitting masochists, or idiots. For this couple, I bet on the last. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. So, pretty much it still ended the same way. So, I'll see you guys next time for another fairy tale. See you then.